Hello everyone and welcome. I've designed a short, creepy story video using Canva and AI, and now I'm going to show it to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this design. The Smith family, comprising a father, mother, and their 15-year-old daughter Sally, recently moved to a serene neighborhood in the capital. Their excitement was palpable as they settled into their new villa-style house, relishing the tranquility of their surroundings. However, after a week of blissful living, Sally began to experience unsettling events. In the quiet of the night, she heard mysterious footsteps in her bedroom. She told her parents about it. Her parents tried to make her feel better by saying the sounds were just in her imagination. Even though her parents said this, Sally still felt something was wrong. One day, while cleaning her room, she found something odd on the floor, a weird board. Today, in this video, We'll explain how to create a story video like this example I designed a while ago. You can use this video story either to create a YouTube story channel or to post it on TikTok, and so on. The first step is to create the story. Everyone always tends to create a story directly using ChatGPT. I've tried using ChatGPT before to write the story, but the result is often unsatisfactory, with the story lacking in events and so on. But this time, I decided to use my imagination to write the main events of the story, then I gave them to ChatGPT and asked it to help me write the story based on the events correctly and coherently. So, in my opinion, the best way is to use your imagination to write the main events of the story, like the beginning and the end, then let ChatGPT assist you in writing the details and generating names for the characters and their physical descriptions. Now, open a new document and write down the main events of your story. Then heed to ChatGPT and type the following. I will now give you the events of a story, and I want you to write them correctly, neatly, and in easy-to-understand English. I want you to create names for the characters and places, and a physical description for each character. Then write the key points of your story and press Enter. Now the chat will generate the story text for you logically and well. As you can see, the chat mentioned the title of the story at the beginning, then it gave names to the characters and their descriptions. Next, copy the story and paste it into the document. This story is about a girl who entered her first year of university in the capital city. Then she met a new friend in the dormitory, and suddenly the girl disappears under mysterious circumstances. Now, to design the video, go to the Canva website and click on Create a Design at the top. Then type Video in the search bar and open a new design. The first step is to add a background. From the Elements section, search for a black video background, or any other background you prefer. Next, add the first paragraph of the story to the video. Now it's time to add images from AI. Here, I'll use Canva's Magic Media for ease of use, but it's better to use the Leonardo website to generate images. Go to the Apps section at the bottom, then open Magic Media. Here in this box, we'll write the commands to generate images related to our story. To get a prompt for generating AI photos, go back to ChatGPT and type for this, give me good prompt to generate AI photo, then write the first paragraph of the story to generate the image related to it. Now copy the prompt and paste it into Canva to generate the image. Unfortunately, in Canva, you can't use long prompts so you have to use short prompts only. Here, I used anime style.
Now I'll use this image. Also, try the Leonardo website as it's much better. I've prepared several prompts for images before recording the video for the story, and I'll use them now. I wrote some prompts manually, without the need for ChatGPT. Now, to create the voiceover, we'll use the famous website Eleven Labs. It's the best website for creating AI-powered voiceovers, among many other websites. To find a suitable voice, click on Voices on the left, then click on Explore. From the top, click on Narrative and Story. Now browse through these voices and listen to them, then choose what you find suitable. I'm not interested in age. People who tell me their age are silly. You're as old as you feel. For me, I'll use the voice Luke, as I find it very suitable for reading horror stories. Now, just copy the first paragraph of the story, then click on the Generate button at the bottom. Then click on the Download Audio button at the bottom, then go to Canva and click on the Upload button to upload the voiceover. Then simply drag the file and drop it onto the timeline below. I've changed the background to blue. Now, the next step is to animate the texts and images. Click on the Animate button at the top. Then choose Typewriter to make the text move as if it's being typed. To change the timing of the text appearance, right-click on the text and choose Show Timing. Now, from the bottom, Change the starting point of the text according to the voiceover. Similarly for images, click on Animate at the top, then choose the animation you prefer. To add music to the story, in the Elements section, search for Mystery. Then click on Audio. Now you'll find a list of ready-to-use background audio clips. I'll choose this audio clip. Again, just drag the file onto the timeline at the bottom. Now, create the rest of the scenes using the same previous steps I explained. Add the second paragraph of the story, then generate the images, add the voiceover, and animation for each element. Here, I'll fast-forward the video and get back to you when I finish the remaining scenes. I've successfully finished designing the story. Let's watch the video together. Emily Woods, a 19-year-old with a passion for chemistry, had recently moved to the capital to pursue her studies at the university. Excited to embark on this new chapter, she opted to reside in the university housing for female students. Emily had always been enamored with horror and mystery stories finding solace and thrill in their pages. Despite her love for the macabre, she was a friendly and approachable individual, quick to strike up a friendship with her roommate, Lily Carter. Lily proved to be a kindred spirit, always supportive of Emily's endeavors. The two became inseparable, attending college lectures together each day. However, Emily's penchant for mystery soon took an unsettling turn. She began to sense a lingering presence, a feeling of being watched, during her walks to and from university with Lily. When she confided in her friend about this eerie sensation, Lily dismissed it as mere paranoia, attributing it to Emily's avid consumption of mystery tales. Their routine took a chilling turn one fateful day after a lecture at the university. Emily found herself alone, unable to locate Lily anywhere. You can create many scenes and definitely improve the quality further than mine. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.